Hi, Brandon Sutton here, PJ Professional with the Three Rivers Park District Golf Academy. Today here at Baker National Golf Course. I'm uh, going to talk to you about a little tricky situation that we can get ourselves into sometimes around the green. Now, as you can see, uh, on my second shot here on this par four, I've missed the green on the right hand side. So I've got myself into a little bit of a trouble situation. Uh, I'm in some longer grass. This is not a hazard area, but I'm in some fescue kind of straw like grass and uh, want to help you try to get out of this situation as easy as possible. So a couple things to look for. What we want to look for in this situation is how is that lie sitting? Right now the ball's sitting pretty decent. One thing we want to be careful with with this is making sure that when we ground our club the ball doesn't move. Um, so a lot of times to start out with this shot what we're going to do is we're going to kind of hover our club above that grass because even touching a blade of grass that sometimes looks like it's a foot away uh, can move that golf ball. So we're going to try to start with that club up in the air and what I want to do to try to get it out of this really long, strong grass is to try to add loft to my club. So very similar to a kind of a blast bunker shot, I'm going to take a big swing with a lot of loft, try to get that ball up and out as best as possible. What that's also going to do is going to try to prevent this club from grabbing a lot of that long grass and then flipping over so that ball shoots off left. So what we're going to do here is set up just like that blast bunker shot, big swing. And I'm just going to try to hit behind the golf ball and pop it out of here. For more tips like this, you can sign up for group classes and private lessons through the Three Rivers Park District Golf Academy and search for Brandon Sutton PGA on Facebook.